Hi, I'm Charles Phoenix. Have I got a joyride for you. For sale is this 1965 Mercury Monterey Marauder driven just 23,090 miles. It is a spectacular survivor class, low mileage, unrestored factory original car, and it is available for sale. I have to say out of all the classic cars I've ever driven, this is one of the smoothest, quietest and most, well, easygoing cars. It's just, it drives graciously. Kind of like, I mean, I've been saying, driving around, I've been saying, this car drives like a baby Lincoln Continental. It really is rare to find a car this nice, this well-preserved, this innocent, and as beautiful. Look how handsome those style lines are. I've been saying, yeah, this is a very handsome car. Every angle is beautiful. Look at that detail right there. That hood, the front end, kind of looks like a Continental actually. That grill really looks very 65 Continental. I love the parking lights. And there it says it right there, right across the hood, just as it should. M-E-R-C-U-R-Y for Mercury. Those parking lights, that fender trim here is basically an extension of the grill and it's really great yeah i know i love how straight and streamlined this car is oh very elegant rear end those tail lights that rear window is practically semi-formal just beautiful mercury written out in the script of your grandmother's handwriting those tail lights are like diamonds little backup lights there they're very small but very effective here is the Mercury Man there, and uh, there it says it, Monterey, the model name, spelled out for your pleasure and mine. The roof, I love the classic Ford roof on this, that little style line that's stamped in the roof line there, very elegant, leading you right down to Marauder, and that victory flag it's three-dimensional. That is a beautiful touch. And look how clean everything is. This car looks like it has never, ever been dirty. I know, the shape of that roof is unbelievable. The back window, I love it. The spinner wheel covers are sporty and, well, semi-formal at the same time. The little Mercury Man there in the hub of the steering wheel. He appears several times. Speaking of the steering wheel, it is in perfect, pristine condition. The back half of it is clear. It's kind of hard to photograph, but it is absolutely preserved perfectly. All of the trim and the pop metal on this car, has, there's no pitting. Look at the headliner, it's perfect. This car, it cannot be overstated how nice it is. There's no corrosion or dirt in the dash or the uh, instrument cluster. Very clean, very, well, glistening, isn't it? I know. A little more detail for you there. The heater control. The, yeah, there he is again, the little Mercury man. The radio, again, a general reminder, it says Mercury. Aftermarket air. Uh, it should blow cold. I'm not sure it really does, but it works. Um, it comes on and off. Mercury there. Again, the upholstery on this car, the door panels absolutely as nice as it could possibly be this is the factory original upholstery i cannot believe how nice it is among the absolute nicest original interiors i have ever seen on the car not a mark on that headliner just spectacular the door panels are perfect the front seat is perfect it's just absolutely really kind of a miracle that this car is that well preserved. The door panels are absolutely gorgeous, all four of them. And uh, I love the two tone. The silver mylar there, which I just went by, is perfect on all the door panels, which is so rare. Under the hood, you've got a 390. This has plenty of power. It's very smooth, runs very nicely. The engine compartment could probably use a little detail if you want your car to be absolutely perfect but it's very nice and no one's ever been in there monkeying around with it or anything. So it's in fantastic, uh, honest condition. 
And this car does have 325 horses, got a lot of get up and go. The trunk is as clean as the rest of the car. I love the jack instructions. Of course, we always love to see those. Look how nice it is. The trunk is virtually, practically perfect in every way. Like they never even put anything in there. I think that's the original spare. It could stand a little detail, quite frankly. Again, the sweeping style lines of this car make it one of the best looking car of the 1960s, without a doubt. For detailed photos and all the information, go to charlesphoenix.com.